Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that there's one, one African cichlid, one African cichlid in particular, and uh, right there, that I've been crazy about the entire time I've been keeping African cichlids. And uh, I've had them, I've not had them, I've had them, and I've got one now, and he's spectacular. Let's take a look at him and let's talk about this particular kind of African cichlid. As some of you might have already guessed, the fish I'm talking about is the Fusco. And you can see him right there. Just a beautiful fish. And one of the things that I, I look for in a Fusco are, are bits of red and rust in the body and, uh, you know, patterns as opposed to just maybe just one, just, just a dull brown or gray. And this one is absolutely beautiful. There's a little bit of green in the lips, some blue in the face, and a little bit of red or almost a burnt orange around the gills. And I'm just very happy with what I'm seeing with this Fusco. And he's a relatively young fish. He'll get up to about, you know, he'll get up to about 10 inches or more. He'll put on some, some, um, some weight, you know, some width and some length. And he's in the same family as the Venusus, another fish that will put on size over 10 inches and get pretty bulky, get some good width. This one you can see is an absolutely beautiful specimen, blue face, great yellow blaze. I also have in here a, um, there he is right there, all fired up, a living stone eye. Tends to go all blue, tends to stay pretty fired up even though I kind of prefer when he has the pattern, the living stone eye pattern. But those are all nimbochromus, nimbochromus, and they're sort of notorious in the African cichlid hobby for being very, very aggressive. And at this particular moment in time, I'm very fortunate in that they're all behaving, and they all accepted this Fusco. None of them really went after him or tried to give him Nobody tried to give him that, that sort of welcome beating that cichlids are notorious for giving a new fish. They just sort of accepted him. I put him in and I turned the lights out. And then when I turned the lights back on, I think it was like, you know, in their little fish brains, well, I guess you've always been here, so how's it going? So at any rate, he's doing great. Nobody's picking on him. Look at his tail, look at his fins. He's all intact, eating very, very well, very, very aggressively. One of the things I look for in the fish is how are they eating, and he is eating very, very well. Boy, look at the markings on that guy. So at any rate, that's the addition to the tank, along with another fish that I'll talk about in a later video. Maybe you can guess by taking a look at the tank which one it is. But there's another new fish in here too. A beautiful fish. Well, I look forward to watching this guy put on some size. Another beautiful specimen from the Cichlid Shack in Tempe, Arizona. So there you have it, the Fusco, one of my favorite fish and um, one that I look forward to watching put on size and width. They get pretty big, they get pretty bulky, and hopefully he'll keep the kind of uh, temperament that he has now, which is uh, pretty, pretty easy. He seems pretty easy going and uh, a little bit, reminds me a little bit of the um, Nototania, uh, the Bucochromus Nototania, just kind of swims around, doesn't really want to get into it with anybody. 
and even the Venusus, another nim Nimbochromus in the tank that uh, has a reputation of being uh, very aggressive, but in my tank just seems to kind of hang out and float around. Now, understandably, and as a word of caution to anyone who wants to keep these fish, it can change instantly. Uh, cichlids can uh, all of a sudden get fired up about something and you're off to the races. I mean, they, they, become, they can become very aggressive. They can single out another fish for destruction and proceed to do so. So uh, you always have to be alert when you keep African cichlids, as you probably know. So uh, that's it about the uh, Fusco. Comment below. Let me know what you think about that fish. And uh, I hope to see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. We'll talk uh, some more about this uh, uh, this addition to the tank, as well as one other fish that's been added. And uh, between now and then, uh, why don't you take a look at some of these videos that I'll that I'll post here, and uh, that should that should provide you with some fun. All right, thank you for tuning in. Bye bye.